Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Rahul, and in this video, we'll be solving some of the challenges in the Tenable CTF challenge. So today is the last day of the challenge, so I thought let us do some of the challenges. So let's start with the web app category. So in this video, we'll be solving some of the challenges in the web app category. So let's begin. So the first challenge is stay away from creepy crawlers. So this straight away gives a gives us a hint that it'll have to do something with the robots.txt file because that is the only file which tells a crawler to stop indexing that part of the website. So this is it, the name of the flag, flag Mr. Robo. So let's slap that in. So this is the correct flag. Now let's start the second one. It says source of all evil. So again, this is a hint that we'll have to look into the source file. So let's control U. This is our flag, flag best implants ever. Let's slap that in. But did you notice something that if you actually open the link, the IP address is the same. So, and there are so many of them like over here, over here. So let's do one thing. We'll, st we'll start off with a derp buster scan. So Python three in case we might need it. So it's safe that we have it ready. So let's start with the third one. Can't find it. Let's open it up. Let's see if we have something. We have a robot.txt file. We checked it. We have a dot HTA password file, but let's check it out if we have something. Okay. By the way, flag 404. Oh no. Let's slab it in. Let's see if it is the flag. Oh, this was the flag. Okay. So let's look at the next one. The name of the challenge is show me what you've got. It says that find the indexes flag over here. Again, the same IP address. So it gives us a hint that find the indexes. So by indexes, it might mean a hidden directory. So the only directory that we came across was an images and a slash admin, but an slash admin gives us a 401, whereas a slash images gives us a 301 response code. So let's check images. And as you can see, there is a txt file. So this might be the flag for the challenge. So let's slap that in. And this was indeed the flag for the challenge. The next one is certificate for authenticity. Let's look it up again. We've got the same IP address now as I've come across a similar challenge beforehand. So I'll be telling you what we can do. So if you press on the padlock button for normally what happens for HTTP sites, you'll be provided with a certificate over here. But as this is a HTTP site, normally there wouldn't be any certificates. So what you can do is you can type in HTTPS and click on the advanced tab and click on view certificate. So this is, this is where I got the hint from certificate of authenticity. So if we scroll a bit down, this is the flag for the challenge. Let's slap that in. And this indeed is the flag. So the next one is headers for your inspiration. Again, we get the same IP address. Let's open it up in new tab. This time it says that headers for your inspiration. So I'm guessing that we have to do something with the headers this time. So let's press in control shift I and let's go to our network tab. You can also turn on your burp suite. So I have refreshed the page. This is the page. Now let's click on the first one. So this one over here are the response headers that we get back. So this is the flag as I'm seeing it. This is the flag for the challenge. So let's slap that in. Now we'll be solving a ripper doc as it has the same IP address. So I think this time we'll have to check to the ripper docs. So you got to be in the club to get this list. So in the club, it could mean that we'll have to log in or something like that. I looked my way around, but I couldn't find anything towards the end. I went to and 
saw this cookie it says authenticated is equal to false so if i type true and if i refresh the page i'll get the flag so this is the flag for the challenge now we have another one which is called protected directory so let's open it up in the new tab again the same file again the same web page but this time it is a bit different so it says that it is a protected directory so linux servers give you a option to set up a protected directory so so if we look at the directories that we found one of them was admin so if we go to the admin directory we get this username and password field so if i type in admin admin you see that the credential was incorrect so there are a few so there are a few ways to bypass this but only if but only if the site is vulnerable so let's go to our terminal and type in curl and let's type in gets the reason i'm doing this is because so normally this is a get request but if i type in gets i might bypass it let's type in tag you and supply in the credentials but as you can see nothing happens again let's change gets to post nothing happens again let's try and put but, but nothing happens so this site was not vulnerable to this type of attack so i again i looked at the few indexes and one of them was dot ht password so what dot ht password is so whenever you have this type of dialog box being thrown to you so the username and the password are in the dot ht password file but you will only be able to see it if the user has if the administrator has given you privileges so let's see if we have read privileges and as you can see we do have the read privileges so this is the credentials so the only way to log into the website is by brute forcing this hash so this is a sorted hash as you can see over here the dollar apr one dollar sign this shows that it is a hashed password what you can do is you can either use john the ripper or hashcat to brute force it i'm not going to use it over here because tools like john the ripper and hashcat are a bit resource hungry so you can go ahead and brute force this but this is the credential anyway so this is it for the video guys i hope you liked it if you did like it please press on the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you